Greetings and a very good morning to all of you. I think it's time to begin uh, because we should respect time. We've already clocked 11 o'clock and participants will continue to join us, but we shall begin on time. I'm Shalini Dabolkar, uh, CEO of India SME Accelerator Network and also your host today. Uh, India SME Accelerator Network, as you know, is an exclusive business accelerator for MSMEs in the country. And we partner chambers, trade bodies, corporate bodies and associations to provide micro level support to MSMEs uh, through our flagship business accelerator programs. Various initiatives that we do, one of them being webinars, and today we are at one of them. So I welcome all of you to the exclusive webinar on how to finance your SME business. We have had nearly 97 registrations for today's session, and I'm glad people are beginning in to come in. We all know that MSMEs are, uh, you know, the key growth engine to the economy with nearly 30% contribution to the GDP. Referring to MSMEs, uh, I'm referring to the 6.3 crore entrepreneurs and enterprises across the country who have been recently impacted, you know, significantly by the COVID crisis. It's very similar to what has happened across the globe to MSMEs, you know, everywhere. Uh, this crisis has done many things, but has also taught us many things, you know, and one of the key things that I would believe uh, it has really taught us to look at is the preparedness of business. Uh, it's been a true test of financial resilience and business resilience of enterprises, small or big, all of them, in fact. You know, so we are glad that as a nation, we've been, you know, we're seeing the light of the end of the tunnel with much needed optimism. Uh, there is a positive sentiment in the market. You've seen how stock market is moving as well. At the same time, you know, the business outlook is improving significantly. All this gives an upside to our business. Having said that, you know, what the last year has done to us is really in terms of pulling us down on our financial capacity as businesses. And there is a huge gap to be bridged from where we have gone down to where we would like to, to reestablish the growth of our enterprises. So today's topic is going to focus on the key element of finance for MSMEs to give the impetus for growth and rebuild the financial strength of enterprises. That too, in the new normal scenario, which is very different from what the world was a year ago. So today we will be focusing on four key pillars uh, of finance, yeah, while there are many. The first one being government support. Second being the banking opportunity. You know how banks can play a role in your finance life. Three, non-banking opportunity. To move to the first session, you know, uh, on the government initiatives, for MSMEs, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome and introduce to you our first speaker, Dr. R.K. Singh, the General Manager and Vertical Head for the Promotion and Development Vertical at SIDBI. Dr. Singh has 29 years of experience in various domains of promotion, financing, and development of MSMEs. Dr. Singh holds a doctorate in entrepreneurship and MSMEs apart from MCOM, MBA in banking and finance. Under his lead, more than 30 policy papers, documents, knowledge and information series and toolkits have been brought out to the sector. Dr. Singh has been engaged in leading several innovative initiatives, including Stand Up India, Udyami Mitra Portal, PSB Loans in 59 Minutes, Inclusive MSME Development Fund, Certified Credit Counselors and Mission Swavalamban. He is absolutely the best person we can have here to interact with today to understand what is truly going on ground, you know, with regards to MSMEs getting better. With this, I hand over the session to Dr. R.K. Singh. Over to you, sir. Um, I think we are not even... Hey. So good morning, everybody. Uh, so I represent SIDBI. SIDBI is Small Industries Development Bank of India. I think all of you would be aware. Um, we are principal financial institution for uh, promotion, financing, development, and coordination of MSME ecosystem. Uh, SIDBI uh, has adopted SIDBI Vision 2.0, uh, where we uh, decided that we should work on uh, themes which are inclusive, 
innovative and impact oriented and within this uh, <clears throat> we have been running a mission swalamban the idea is that uh, the theme it carries is can we induce entrepreneurship culture and can we have a situation where each house has one entrepreneur har ghar ek swalambi so for this uh, we have been working on um, uh, uh, like the youths uh, and even like we consider three role models is very important the parents the primary school teacher and the college uh, teachers uh the idea is if we can infuse entrepreneurship culture within this bandwidth um i think things can get going uh if we quickly see the uh, entire uh, uh, entrepreneurship development cycle right from ideation to um giving shape to the idea or incubating it diversification quality upgradation entire ecosystem you will find there are institutions there are schemes uh, which are available and which uh, can, should be uh, leveraged at different level there is a parent uh, ministry for micro small and medium enterprises momsme uh, we have several ministries uh, in, in fact almost more than 10 ministries operate one or other enterprise ecosystem related initiative uh at the base level uh, we have ministry uh, for skilling and entrepreneurship itself so and there are institutions at entrepreneurial level edi um, uh, ids at different state level there are technical consultancy organizations institutions like uh, sidbi then banks then cooperative banks small finance banks now fintechs have come up uh so and then uh, if it comes to schemes uh, you would see uh, that at the startup level there are fund of funds which are being operated uh, then at base traditional level we have a scheme like mudra which is up to 10 lakhs uh, beyond mudra 10 lakhs to 1 crore we have a specialized scheme for women and uh, scst um that and it is a very unique uh, scheme um, operated under guidance of dfs uh, department of financial services ministry of finance uh, recently you would have seen in the budget also it has come the idea is each uh, bank branch in the country uh, they have been given target to do one loan each for women and scst uh, already 1 uh, lakh beneficiaries have been covered we have a portal anybody can any time log in and uh, apply for uh, loan as also handholding services so whenever anybody is thinking of becoming an entrepreneur there are a lot of handholding or i call it finger holding to handholding uh, which is uh, very crucial so we have tried to enable what we thought is that uh, we will give you a digital treat in terms of uh, we will uh, run you through uh, uh, two three critical portals which we offer and there i would uh, uh, after that you would feel that uh, instead of remembering schemes uh, if you remember these portals uh, the your ease of uh, doing business uh, can be facilitated uh, no, very seamlessly uh, <clears throat> but before i hand over to my uh, colleague um, uh, and i have requested uh, jinansha who is founder director of online psb loans he will give you a run through um, and uh, <clears throat> uh, but i would like to share like uh, sidbi has set up in five states uh, swalamban connect kendras any but we can uh, so these are uh, states of up bihar jharkhand odisha uh, anybody telangana so anybody can give a miss call on uh, this number and uh, call back would be uh, given to them and they will handle them right up to enterprise setting up uh, aspect sit be a set up around 1700 silai schools the idea was that can we kindle home trainers and uh, bring them to entrepreneurship and with them uh, we can move to uh, uh, the culture being in use
then there are uh, collateral free institutions also ncgtc and ctmsc uh, which ensure collateral free coverages uh, ctmsc uh, is managed by mmsme and sibb uh, ncgtc uh, sibb uh, manages under the guidance of uh, minister uh, kt which has been created sibb has supported devs across the country uh, sibb operates two three um, uh, such funds including india aspiration fund aspire fund we have a wholly owned subsidiary also sibb venture capital limited i think i was seeing uh, there is a session of uh, trades also so leaving it here and maybe uh, after we run you through the portal uh, we can uh, then uh, take your questions that would be more interactive platform so jinand uh, over to you thank you sir uh, thank you for the introduction yes sibb has been the pioneer in uh, rolling out multiple things and uh, psp loans in 59 minutes is one of the key initiatives uh, where sibb team uh, led by dr r k singh has been instrumental uh, to the success where uh, this portal has reached i'll i'll quickly run you through the process how it actually happens in 59 minutes because a lot of people have questions uh, that uh, this 59 minutes actually does it really happen or not and in fact when this was launched in november 2018 there was a question that uh, 59 minutes for an msme loan in principle approval is something not heard of a uh, lot of people had doubts uh, A lot of bankers themselves had doubt at branch level whether and how this processing will work. But over a period of two years, you can say uh, more than thirty thousand crores dispersed, and uh, say more than three lakh MSME proposals processed through our digital medium is something that is uh, a substantial thing that has been seen in the MSME industry. We are seeing more and more proposals coming through. We have recently also launched the sub ten lakh category that is Mudra also on this platform. when this platform was launched it was launched from 10 lakh to 1 crore rupee uh, limit however now this has gone to 10000 to 5 crore rupees limit so any msme uh, who wants any limit say up to 5 crore rupees would be getting an invincible approval using psb loan in 59 minutes we have all the public sector banks on it we have sibi on it we have uh, the largest private sector banks on it also so uh, while this initiative was started with the psbs were the core players who were on this platform as on date the largest private sector banks also are on the platform the largest cooperative bank is also on this platform uh, so i quickly run you through a demo on how this actually happens in 59 minutes uh, if you ask me we have got as on date more than 3000 video testimonial which is a record in itself so the customers themselves provide video testimonial saying that this is something we have never seen we have never seen a bank disperse us in a 7 to 10 days time frame we had always thought of that an ndfc that is available locally and that lends at 20 24% will only be able to disperse in 5 7 days however the public sector banks and the top private sector banks dispersing in 7 days and there also there also collateral is not mandatory Uh, we have got integration done with CGTMSC also on this platform. So a digital CGTMSC check is done. So up to two crore rupees, if if the collateral coverage is or uh, collateral is not available with you, the CGTMSC coverage can be also looked into. And for all of your uh, understanding, up to ten lakh rupees. So whether you need a five lakh rupee loan or a seven lakh rupee loan, bankers will also cla always classify it under Mudra segment. and as per the mudra guidelines you don't need to give a collateral so those are those are the good things uh, for the msme industry where msmes can take benefit out of it and uh, uh, considering this all things are there i'll quickly share my screen and show you how this process also works just a moment okay so uh, this is the home page uh, when you land on psb loans in 59 minutes so this is the url psb loans in 59 minutes.com uh, it is a initiative that is led by all the banks and sibi has been the pioneer institution in launching this 
We have started with business loan, then we have added the retail category and recently mudra loans also. We are seeing a lot of traction coming from the mudra segment also. So we go to the first screen, say you are coming, you register. It's a simple registration, simple sign up. I will not take time. It's an OTP based sign up. You put in your password and, and then you are in. So I'm showing you a screen. So for example, you have created one application. You can always see that your application will always be stored in your homepage. So you will always be able to see your profile uh, after you have created one application. But say, for example, you are coming for the first time. So you are coming for the first time, you are creating your application. You select that, OK, I want to get into MSME, Mudra, Odo. So say in this case, we select Mudra. You put in your PAN. The process of Mudra and MSME to a certain extent are similar. Mudra has certain things that are simpler. I'll explain you in this 10 minutes how that difference is there. So basis your PAN, if you find that you are GST registered, we actually show you that, okay, these are your GST registration numbers and uh, would you like to proceed? So you actually don't need to feed in your GST numbers. We pre-fill your GST numbers for you. Thereafter, there is a declaration that we ask that, uh, do you file your income tax return? Are you regular in home in, in payment of your loans? This is primarily to make you aware that if this is not the case, then you may not get an approval digitally. So you just click on on, uh, on the same, you give your consent and you proceed from there. So there are six tabs you see over here. So this six tabs primarily, you say sales details will take around five to 10 minutes income tax return. If you have the returns with you available, it hardly takes two minutes for the system to process. If you have the bank statements available on the, on the home page, we actually show you what all things you need to keep ready. So if you have the bank statements ready with you, last six months bank statement, the system hardly takes a minute or two to process it. And thereafter, uh, if you are a proprietorship, partnership company, we ask you to fill in the key person details. If your entity has any associate concerns, which normally we have seen 80%, 85% do not have associate concerns. If you have any associate entities, you can provide that. And last is one form. One form primarily means that what is it that you are looking forward? Okay, we have created your profile, we have all your data. Tell us what loan you want. Okay, so basis that we give you the eligibility. So simple application. If you want to fill the sales manually, you don't have a GST. And here in this case, if you add a GST, we will pre-fill your GST numbers. You just need to put the OTP of those GST numbers. And the system will successfully verify those OTP show you the transaction details also that we have fetched this transaction details from your GST number. Same happens for if you are a multi GST, you can put in the OTP for all those GST numbers and system allows you to proceed further. Right? And then if you want to add, if the system has detected three GST number, you want to add any GST, you can actually add a GST. From here. So this GST is completed. We will show you that these are all the details that has been fetched. Uh, to verify it before we move to the next segment. We click on proceed from there, and next is we move to the income tax return. So income tax return, we ask you that, say you are filing your income tax return or you are not filing your income tax return. Normally, if you are not filing your income tax return, it is only when, uh, as per law, you are not allowed. So we do a check at the back end that whether you are declaring this correct or not. We normally consider you are filing your income tax return. We ask the latest year return as a mandatory thing, but overall we ask three years return. We show you instruction, we show you videos. If you want to see how to upload the income tax return from where you can get your income tax return, you just upload your income tax return and the system proceeds. It shows you the details and then it just moves forward. So uh, hardly income tax return would take two minutes if you have the return ready with you. If you don't have, we show you the process and that two minutes may go to say 10 minutes because you have to download it from IT website. The next is uh, bank statement. So in bank statement, say we have uh, three bank statements fetched from your income tax return. We pre-fill those details for you so you don't need to actually fill in the bank statement details. You can just put in the details over here uh, that. Uh, you have this three banks account. You, you can fill mandatorily one bank statement is required to be filled. You can upload a PDF statement up to three PDF statements. You can submit it over there. 
and then you can just click on the proceed so you click on proceed bank statements are available uh, successfully uploaded and we verify the name that you have uploaded in the bank statement the next is key person details so from this your actually the profile is created we know, know everything about the history of financials details everything next we ask is we ask certain details which are required actually say this is a segment which is required for mudra loans this segment is not there if you are going for a more than 10 lakh rupee loan but if you are say sub 10 lakh rupee loan these are the details which are normally required for mudra loans uh otherwise say your details will start from here if it's a partnership form we will pre fill all these details from your itr q details has to be filled by you and if you if you are a proprietorship only single uh, proprietor's details the main partner if you are a partnership form we ask the main partner's details there are certain details that are required for main partner so this segment we consider this segment of filling up of data will require at least 10 minutes of your time you fill up this data and you click on proceed and your key person detail is filled so four out of six tabs are done fifth 80% cases do not have an associate concern say so in case you have an associate concern you can mention the details of the associate concern that's it you uh, we proceed from there and the last you have filled up everything required last is what we ask is what exactly are you looking for what is the purpose of loan Uh, if it is a working capital or term loan, uh, if it is act asset acquisition, what is it you require? And because of say, if it is act asset acquisition, would that result in increase in profitability? Details of plant and machinery. If it is not working capital, if it is working capital, this segment does not come up. And from bureau, we would have fetched your data of your existing loans. so we would ask you that do you have any other loan other than which we have already fetched and we are showing to you you can add those other loans if you feel that these are the additional loans that are uh, last is we asked uh, certain statutory obligation questions this is specific to mudra again uh, because there is some scoring that happens in mudra basis this and that's it so your application is done and you are all set to uh, get the uh, proposals from banks your profile is completed so we have two segments i have this is just a screen i am showing you normally your profile matches in case your profile does not match with any existing pro, uh, products of the bank you can still submit your application to the bank and the branch can still view it we will go with a good case saying that the profile matched and you will get to see okay you wanted uh, 10 lakh rupee are you getting 10 lakh rupee what is the rate of interest which are the banks so just like how we used to see in a personal loan application you can actually see a msme loan application happening over here you get to see the terms of the bank if we show you that you should prefer your existing bank primarily because they have your kyc already done so in case you are selecting your existing bank we ask for the bank and branch details so say you are selecting if you are from ahmedabad we show you all the branches that are there you select the branch and if it's an msme there's a there's a convenience fees for mudra it's completely free you get an in principle approval you you get this letter and this in principle letter is actually provided to you on screen also and this in principle letter is also sent in a mail to you now the good part the good part about this entire application is that um, uh, is that uh, uh, i'll take up the questions just the good part about this entire application is it's completely digital it's a contactless process it does not involve the bankers on the other side uh, to take your application or tell that okay i want your application or not in this case the customer is empowered so the msme is empowered to select the bank so the msme is empowered to select the bank and this bank terms which you see at the time of matches are actually as per bank's own policy guidelines so if it has matched if it is an in principle approval you are getting that means that the bank's policy has already matched and the bank should be able to lend you money in case of mudra we don't ask you collateral details however if it is a non mudra uh, proposal then we do ask do you have a collateral if you have a collateral we ask for a collateral details 
Even if you don't have collateral, we show you CTT, MSC back all products of banks. When we show you that if you don't have collateral, there will be a uh, CGT MSC premium that needs to be paid year on year. Uh, and uh, this will be substituting your collateral requirement of the bank. So this is how uh, the process flows. So far as rate of interest is concerned, the rate of interest starts from 7.70% onwards. Uh, it normally ranges up to 12%. This is what we have seen. On an average, the rate of interest which we see that goes on the platform is somewhere between 9% to 9.5%. This is the average that we see of all the proposals that are happening. Uh, the turnaround time is something that we map across all banks, across all regions, across all zones, across all branches. The head office of every bank gets to see the proposals that have gone to branch. So why we, why we call it as this empowers the MSME? Because earlier, if an MSME had submitted an application to a branch, say manually, the head office was never knowing that the branch is having this application. However, here, when you select a branch, there is a trigger that goes to the zone, there is a trigger that goes to the region, there is a trigger that goes to the circle, there is a trigger that goes even to the head office. So every person who is above that branch knows that there is a proposal that has come to this branch. And if there is, there is a time that is taken, which is beyond certain time limit, then they automatically get an aging report and alert saying that this proposal is yet not disposed of by the branch. So this is the power of technology. This is how the integrations have been done. The data of the entire proposal flows through API into bank system also. So at branch level, they don't need to re-enter all this data in their own system also. The final sanction and disbursement still happens at branch. Uh, this is as per the RBI regulation that the final sanction and uh, signing of agreement has to happen at branch. If there is a collateral that you are providing, then the collateral related valuation and title search happens at branch. Uh, so normally if it's a collateral backed loan, we normally see it's a 15, 20 days stat. If it's a collateral free loan and if a uh, bank visit is fine and the branch is fine, the turnaround tat has gone up to 10 days also. However, but if it's a collateral fee, the MSME has to be prepared to pay a CGT MSC premium, which may range somewhere around 1%, 1.5% per annum on the limits that are utilized. Uh, we have seen maximum proposals coming in working capital over the last two years, uh, and term loans and working capital, both products are currently available on the platform. Uh, any questions, uh, we are open to it. I see there's a question on uh, Mudra loan or MSME loan. <laughs> Sir, uh, should I take it up or? Yeah, yeah, please take it up. Yeah, so, we could take it up now as well, Janath. So, so there's a question that is Mudra loan or MSME loan possible if we already have a working capital loan. Uh, so my answer to this is see, normally, normally for a uh, low amount loan, say a 20 lakh, 30 lakh or a Mudra loan of 5 lakh or say up to 1 crore, 2 crore banks normally don't go into multiple banking. So if you already have an existing working capital loan, we show it in the system that we have figured that you already have a working capital loan. If you are selecting a bank, we show you a consolidated in principle letter that you, uh, this existing limit also will go to the bank that is having a working capital limit, right? So that is how it will proceed that uh, your limit say there is a two lakh limit existing with a bank and you have got an in principle of two lakh plus five lakh that is seven lakh. That means the bank where you are opting, you should be fine that that bank will uh, fund your entire working capital limit. So this is how, uh, if you already have a limit, this is how it will work. Just to add to Jinan, like that is what I was saying initially, you need not remember schemes because uh, there are 400 uh, plus uh, products of different institutions which are mapped on this portal. And so it gives you the best fit uh, in terms of somebody looking for a uh, uh, loan of a higher moratorium, longer duration, lesser rate of interest, they can choose the bank when it gets displayed last in terms of best fit. So that is the prowess it brings uh, to the uh, aspirant. Yeah. Right, right. That's where we call it as it empowers the MSMEs. So not only the bankers are empowered with the digital technology and the digital processing, but the MSMEs are empowered to choose the bank of their choice with an in principle letter with the terms. And we are seeing that the TAT, which was earlier 90 days, is getting reduced below 15 days for all the banks. 
and there are banks that are actually dispersing in less than seven days also. So we are seeing that trend also coming. Absolutely, I think I think what uh, enterprises here should appreciate is it's going to be the one place to go. You don't have to you know keep running across banks, and you have complete transparency and visibility of what is happening across banks. You know, uh, so that is the beauty of this. While I think we appreciate that the overall credit eligibility of an enterprise will still be defined as you know it should ideally be defined by uh, credit assessment. But the fact that you know accessibility becomes a lot better and transparency on you know the interest rates and affordability is far superior this way. Wonderful. I think. So I will quickly um, like my colleague Neeraj will give a flare of more of non-financial side. Which we are powering uh, through Udeme Mitra and Standard Mitra, which includes both financial and non-financial access, and then we'll have a 15 minutes or 10 minutes, whatever is left, uh, for discussion. Neeraj. Yes, sir. I'm sharing this. Yes. And we need to make me host, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Neeraj. I think you would have the rights by now. Have a look, please. Yeah. yeah. Hope my screen is visible. Yeah, yeah, visible. Okay. We can see that. So let me start with saying that you know the entrepreneurship you know enlivens when access to affordable, adequate, and timely support, both for financial and non non financial services in Abad. So keeping this agenda in mind, you know, Sidbi has taken several steps you know for kindling the MSME ecosystem. Uh, one of them is setting up and stepping up support through digital Mitra portals. So the the Udami Mitra portal is right there on the screen. So one can you know access by typing www. Udami Mitra. in. The platform is basically an enabling platform which is providing not only the credit services but also the hosting lot of non financial services. So I'll quickly jump to the non financial aspect that we are catering through this platform. Uh, so on the platform there is a section knowledge center. one can quickly go to that section you know and can access a lot of knowledge material we have hosted on the platform so i'll quickly you know uh, start with you know the 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 most important document which is critical you know and which is you know uh, working as a guiding document kind of a do it yourself kind of a toolkit for an entrepreneur to you know start their you know uh, entrepreneurial journey so this is a be bankable how to become bankable so when somebody click on it you know a document will appear so what we bring out in bankability kit is how do you communicate when you are talking to a banker what is he looking into you and then how do you communicate how do you prepare yourself when you uh, go to a banker and how do you remain uh, bankable in terms of maintaining financial discipline so uh, uh, yeah yeah so basically basically uh, the bankability kit has been designed to serve micro small and enterprises to you know evolve as a bankable entity so we have we have just categorized this you know uh, do it yourself kind of a kit into the three themes one is no enterprising self no your banker and no banking so the the entire document has been categorized into these three documents uh, and you know uh, uh, so it, this document is basically uh, bridging the gap between the loan seeker and the loan provider so a lot of challenges these days you know aspirants are facing in terms of how to submit a proposal to the bankers you know there are a lot of you know uh, acceptability acceptability issues is from the lender side they are not able to understand the proposals so to give that flair in a very structured manner we have come out with this you know uh, the bankability kit this bankability kit is basically talking about lot of checklists one should be ready with you know how to start a new business what are the kyc related compliances are required you know and you know uh, and uh, uh, it basically endeavor to bridge the gap between the demand and supply side so from so from an entrepreneur perspective and from a banker's perspective uh, this is trying to bridge the gap you know it it includes some basic information which a you know msme borrower should know while approaching or communicating to a lender so uh, we highly recommend that anybody who is aspiring to become an entrepreneur and want to kick start their journey to become a swavalambi they should definitely go through this bankability kit now apart from that we have hosted a lot of other materials uh, on the platform like swavalamban info series is there 
so swavalamban info series basically uh, 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 it is an attempt to you know connect with the present and potential swavalambis and to help them in shaping their entrepreneur journey so it is basically spreading the entrepreneurship culture and how to turn job seeker into a job creator so these we have come out so far with the eight uh, swavalamban info series if one can go through it and you know uh, we would highly recommend at least the two uh, uh, info series the volume 5 and volume 4 while volume 4 is talking about go for good governance how and why the good governance is critical uh, for an msme and the volume 5 is talking about what are the digital enablers for an msme ecosystem right now so we have compiled the information at one place and this is keep on updating so basically this is you know uh, bringing basic as well as advanced knowledge of you know entrepreneurship to keep one up to date with latest schemes latest happenings you know in the msme ecosystem what are the latest initiatives government is taking in terms of boosting the msme ecosystem so we are keep on you know uh, updating and uploading and coming out with this uh, knowledge material on the platform apart from that you know uh, we have we have a lot of uh, bank uh, this sample project profiles hosted on the platform right now more than 320 project profiles are available on the platform uh, one can is sample project profiles and can and can kick start you know working on their project report preparation so um, and you know one can search these project reports you know uh, based on the amount based on the type of enterprise micro small and medium uh, so already 320 plus sample reports are available to uh, immediately start writing their project profiles apart from that you know sidb is also coming up with lot of uh, uh, knowledge series like msme pearls so in msme pulse we are coming coming out with the uh, with the health trackers basically which is analyzing the uh, what is the trend right now going in the msme lending space what is the progress right now how the what is the market potential how the msmes are behaving so uh, that knowledge series is also very you know uh, useful for for someone to go through apart from that you know uh, sidb is also coming out with the krisi dex Uh, this is coming along with the crystal and sidb initiative this is basically talking about the msme sentiments in the country and we are also coming out with the uh, fintech pulse uh, how fintechs are driving the digital lending in the country you know how they are proving to be a differentiator in timely and adequate credit delivery uh, uh, this this uh, this report is basically talking about so fintech industry is basically is, is, is getting matured slowly slowly in the country so so far we have come out with the volume one only and once the fintech industry will grow and definitely will come out with lot of you know a detailed version of this fintech pulse volumes as well so one can definitely leverage by you know utilizing these knowledge materials and you know uh, get uh, aware themselves what exactly is happening in the msme ecosystem in the country right uh, so go back to home page Yeah, and so yeah. what all people can access na, in terms of schemes like animal husbandry, PM so on. Yeah. So so basically, uh, the the portal is you know uh, right now catering to uh, various types of loan requirements from the credit side. Like one can apply for the mudra loan, uh, which is up to rupees ten lakh. Uh, for the Stand Up India loan, which is for setting up the greenfield enterprise, this is exclusively for SC ST entrepreneurs, and for women entrepreneurs. so one can apply for stand up india loan also and then we have kept another segment which is msme loans so uh, anybody who is not willing to for the mudra loan or not eligible for stand up india they can apply for msme loan so right now we are accepting the applications up to 10 crore from the platforms apart from that you know the platform is also powering two government of india initiatives one is the pm prime minister street vendors atmanirbhar nidhi pm swanidhi it is a special credit facility which was you know announced in june 2020 due to covid pandemic uh, to bring back the uh, livelihood of the street vendors uh, uh, to the track so under this scheme you know a uh, loan of rupees 10000 is being uh, uh, provided to the street vendors and apart from that lot of you know government of india subsidy incentives and if they are you know utilizing the digital payment mechanism a lot of cashback is also being provided under the scheme so one can also apply for you know uh, the street vendors specifically who are into the vending activities they can apply for this loan through the platform then another uh, scheme which was launched uh, by ministry of agri uh, ministry of animal husbandry dairy uh, this animal husbandry infrastructure development fund 
to basically to boost the uh, uh, dairying uh, related you know setting up the dairy dairying and you know animal husbandry related units so uh, for that also you know one can apply from the platform uh Let's so i think you can sum up now time i yeah, think time yeah, challenges not permitting there. yeah, yeah. I'll, i'll quickly tell one can apply you know by using the login button they can just simply quickly register here and they can just put in their mobile number and request otp quickly a profile will be filled in and they can you know uh, uh, then go to the dashboard of the platform and can apply for any type of loan that i have shown on the home page of the udyam indra yeah so already already you know the live videos are also available under knowledge center Uh, for applicants, so they can just run through those live videos and can get uh, aware themselves how to uh, log in into the uh, platform for applying for the loans and availing other hand holding and knowledge materials uh, services. Yeah. Yeah. So this was a, qu a quick overview, and uh, people can always go through it and throw us questions even uh, through email or to uh, in their semi uh, network, and it can come to us. Yeah. over to you ma'am yeah wonderful i think this demo has done a lot more than you know uh, just letting people know what is there because this is live representation of what can be done at the you know snap of a finger you know hit of a button and this is absolutely uh, i think insightful for most participants out here who knew about uh, you know these uh, facilities but they just didn't know how easy it can be you know how really accessible it is so wonderful thank you very much for this demo i think we will quickly run through a few questions that we have i think there's one question from a participant balkishan uh, he says can a new company formed recently in september you know uh, earlier in partnership but now in a company form as a private limited company can they get a loan out here on psb loan in 59 minutes so the answer is uh, if you need at least one year itr for the entity whom you are registering okay so if your financial year itr is available you can uh, get an in principle approval for the entity that you want to take a loan uh, one one uh, while the question is something that is a very very specific question so there is one specific uh, thing that you need to look into because you have converted the form into company that is what i understand from the query it's a converted entity what happens in the financials and everything that is uh, taken up it's of the partnership from because the historical itr is of the partnership you will still be able to apply it however ideally we would suggest that once your company's itr is filed you should be doing it but in any case the system will not restrict you to proceed got it got it thank you very much for the response i think it's the entire session shouldn't be limited to just loans you know i think there's a lot more that came out of the session and i would urge participants to think beyond because we heard very many uh, uh, initiatives including the stand up initiative you know dr singh you spoke about so uh, one of the questions here is uh, what's in it for women entrepreneurs what to expect out of this initiative could you tell us a little about it so as i mentioned uh, like stand up is meant for scst and women right so any women uh, where she is having stake of more than 51% in an entity she can set up a new enterprise mm -hmm. uh, by logging on to standup mitra portal uh, either udyami mitra or standup mitra and apply for a loan choose a bank branch and uh, go for uh, totally online or she has an alternate of uh, going to uh, any bank branch and uh, Uh, requesting them to uh, cover under stand up india now recently government in the budget has announced that uh, uh, the, the promoter contribution which was earlier 25% has been brought down to 15% mm -hmm. and second uh, what it has expanded is now agri elite activities are also covered earlier it was only manufacturing and service and trading but now agri elite activities are also covered so it has uh, no broadened the vision of the scheme itself so now you'll you'll not find i think in uh, globally also where each bank is given a target of doing one loan to women for green field which is very unique uh, offering for women entrepreneur or aspirant women entrepreneur yeah wonderful wonderful uh, another question that has come to us uh, separately is uh, the current budget that came out you know what could be the impact of that with 15700 crore you know talked about for msmes So could you throw some light light on that? 
so the budget addresses uh, whatever uh, challenges uh, covid 19 uh, threw and how do we rebound in a sustainable way so right from doubling the budget to the parent ministry it is 15700 crore being provided for soft and hard uh, uh, infrastructure support uh, there are several schemes which uh, is run through uh, its promotion and development and all it is addressing the startup ecosystem the stand up india uh, it has it is talking about uh, production linked incentive in 13 sectors and there is a provision of 1.9 lakh crore uh which is which would be linked to production length incentive right so that way and uh, the good part is these are also slowly getting digitized so uh, uh, people will get that benefits and then vocal for local and aatmanirbhar bharat will have you uh, know more impetus out there as far as fintech hub uh, is also coming up there is a provision for that there is a dfi for infrastructure financing uh um, the startup tax holiday has been uh, extended and capital gains tax uh, uh, rebate is also there i would call it as uh, it is an econo- uh, it is a budget which is uh, throwing thrust on revive and thrive so uh, so that way it is a comprehensive and lot of other things like uh, there are uh, unblocking of uh, uh, land assets in the economy uh, monetizing those assets Uh, the capital outlay for rail, uh, rail road, uh, all these urban power ports have been increased. These would lead to uh, uh, MSME sector uh, gaining uh, leveraging. Uh, they can do out there. So I think it has been woven. And then, as I mentioned, Stand Up India itself has been taken care of. Then a uh, lot of funds are being um, given for renewable energy and solar part of it. so that way it is a comprehensive addressal of challenges which have come besides uh, the other uh, measures which had been launched in terms of emergency credit line of uh, credit line uh, which was made available uh, so i think uh, we will see only look up from here onwards yeah definitely dr singh definitely thank you very much for the very positive note that entrepreneurs definitely need at this point of time um so i uh, uh, on behalf of the india sme accelerator team truly thank you dr singh and the entire sidbi team uh, shivendram ji in the back end neeraj verma ji here janan shah here thanks to all of you for taking out your precious time for our participants and truly you know enlightening them today with all that you said and sh- and you showed on screen i'm sure uh, enterprises uh, have learned a lot they become more aware and i also believe a lot of perceptions somewhere have definitely changed here today so once again thank, thank you. you very much thank you bye bye thank you